Hello everyone, welcome to this video. Today in this video, we're gonna see how to simulate a three by three array design of an electromagnetic metamaterial absorber. Once you learn how to simulate an three by three array of electromagnetic metamaterial absorber, you can also um, learn how to simulate a four by four or six by six array simulation as well. And you can do according to your need. And also one more thing we need to consider before simulating it is that and CST is actually by default has an option to simulate your unit cell as an array by going to the boundaries. You can select it as an unit, I think unit cell. Then CST used to by default simulate it as an array. But uh, as a researcher or as a design, electromagnetic metamaterial designer you need to have control on which which um, dimensional array or what um, a structure or you can say what sized array you want to simulate or you want to fabricate for that you need to check before fabrication how it performing in different structure like four by four array or three is to three array or six is to six array but uh, the CST, while simulating it as an array, can't give us the access to change the um, unit cell amount in these particular things. So that's why we need to simulate an array like 3x3, 4x4, or 6x6 by, first of all, copying your unit cell surrounding it, and then simulate it. And for that, you have to change some setups over here, like after coming to the boundary condition, you need to change it as periodic. You need to change this as periodic and X min and X max periodic and Y min and Y max is also need to be in periodic position or periodic setup. Why, why is that? Because uh, while copying your unit cell surrounding your designed one you're gonna copy your designed unit cell in y direction and x direction only you're not gonna uh, copy it and uh, transform it or change it position in z direction that's why we are not changing the z max and z min we are only changing the y max uh, y max y min and z x max and x min because you're gonna copy your designed unit cell in x direction and y direction only yeah after that you can hit the OK button. And one thing I forgot to tell you that before uh, changing the boundary condition, you can um, connect your waveguide port first. And you can connect your waveguide port after uh, changing the boundary condition as well. But you can um, do it by your choice. It's not gonna affect the result. As per uh, my knowledge, I can say that now. After changing the um, boundary condition, what you need to do is for let your work far more easier. You can do it in front and then <clears throat> convert it into a, convert your patch into one single shape or a structure. For that, go to the modeling and Boolean add. After selecting all the portion and uh, go to the Boolean and add, you can convert it into one particular shape. So then you can rename it as patch. Yeah. Now, after doing that, for this particular time, we're gonna design a three is to three array. So, after uh, selecting all those, we're gonna transform it and translate and click the option copy. And then we're gonna move it first at in Y direction. So as the dimension of our designed electromagnetic metamaterial is eight by eight millimeter. So we're gonna um, give the value of Y as eight. Then if you give review, you can see 
it's gonna copy your designed unit cell on y direction eight millimeter far further so it's gonna create an adjacent unit cell just like your design cell yeah and then hit ok and then again transform copy and this time minus it then it's gonna select a position hmm. down to the you down to your design unit cell and then hit the button. again you can hit the button transform then this time we're gonna take unit cell hmm. And copy and copy the unit cell in x direction so hit ok and select copy preview ok again transform copy then opposite side that's why we're gonna hit minus 8 preview ok now then you can for uh, copying another uh, another others other four unit cell in four of the these particular gaps we're gonna <coughs> copy this particular one and then transform it both in two direction both both the side of it that's why and copy it in x direction so minus it if you copy okay again transform copy it okay now we can subtract to ground two then copy it it again in both the in x direction in both the side one is eight copy okay another is, is in the opposite direction copy preview okay. okay now the three by three array has been taken yeah and if you check the ports as we set it uh, periodic earlier it gonna recalculate itself and it gonna work for whole array here you can see earlier when uh, our design is in a single unit cell it's working for an unit cell and right now it's working for an array for port 2 it's for port 2 is also the same yeah this is how you can actually design a, an array by your choice and simulate it in the same procedure and one more thing if i have to tell you why we need to design particular dimension particular amount of um, unit cell based array is that um, while um, doing research in advanced level we need to fabricate these designs and for that in which lab you are working their capability or technology availability might be different uh, uh, than other labs and according to their capability um, they sometimes um, fabricate 3 is to 3 or 4 is to 4 8 is to 8 or more than that so for that you need to check up or check your results simulating it on cst first and then go further for simulation uh not simulation for fabrication so that's why we need to simulate it on cst as a different array shape to understand the results and capability of our design further and how it's gonna perform in the real life or practical in application yeah that is how you can simulate your array on particular sh taking particular dimension and once you done copying or designing an array you can go and simulate it go in the setup solver here you can select all ports and there is all to find out the reflection coefficient and transmission coefficient um, properly 
and also co and cross polarization insensitivity you have to select as at all port all all to find out the co and cross polarization stuff in the navigation tree where you're gonna find out the results yeah and then you have to just hit the button start to simulate it and get your results that you wanted and which will be helpful for you yeah that is how you're gonna design a cheese to three four is to four or eight is to eight array and all the things which we tell, told you in advance please be careful on those following on all the steps while simulating your design as an array according to your requirement and yeah that's it thank you for watching this video and if you find it helpful for you to doing research in this field or if you think this video will help you to further grow your knowledge on electromagnetic metamaterial observer you can subscribe this channel and if you need or want have any question you can ask on the comment section i will try my best to respond and do subscribe this channel like share to your friends and stay with us for a longer period of time thank you so much for watching this video